What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be covering my Backlash 2018 predictions. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the Superstar Shake-Up did take place a few weeks ago, and it was announced multiple weeks before WrestleMania 34 that after that, we will be going to all co-branded pay-per-views. Raw and SmackDown Superstars will both take place on every single pay-per-view of the year. We're only getting one pay-per-view per month, and I think this is going to, you know, make the pay-per-views mean a lot more. What's kind of stupid, though, is that they're saying it's the first ever co-branded pay-per-view, but we just had one called WrestleMania 34. We had the Royal Rumble. We always have them every single year, so I don't know why they're calling it the first ever. I think they're just doing that to get some network buys, but I just think that's stupid. I think it's sort of insulting to WWE fans. I, 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 I don't know. I don't like that, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I'm not that hyped for this pay-per-view. I think this is going to be a pretty lame one, but you never know. I mean, they could prove me wrong. I hope they prove me wrong. I just feel like the matches are a lot... You, I feel like they're very predictable, and I'm not looking forward to it as much as I would like. But um, we're going to run through the card. I'm going to give you all of my predictions for every single match. So let's go ahead and get started. So start things out first, guys. We got this tag team match between Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And I didn't even know this match was taking place until just now doing this video. But I'm going to go with Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. I just don't see how Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are supposed to overcome these behemoths of men. Um, I love Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and I would pick them to win. But, uh, you know, Bobby Lashley's the new fresh face, and Braun Strowman's the most over guy in the company right now. So I'm going to go with the faces winning. I give zero Fs about this match. I don't care anything about it, and I'm just ready for this thing to move on and we get some fresh feuds. Next up, we got the singles match between Daniel Bryan and Big Cass. And again, I give zero Fs about this match. I think this is a pointless feud. I don't know why you would pair a guy that you want to get over and you want a guy that, you know, you want to push like Big Cass. You're going to put him against the, you know, the most over guy. I said Braun Strowman was the most over guy. Daniel Bryan's the most over guy, and I think that this is really dumb. I think that uh, if you're trying to get Big Cass over, why don't you pair him with somebody not as over and not the face of the company in Daniel Bryan? I just don't know why they did that, but I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan winning. I think um, that uh, if this match even goes to a decision, I think that it could also be a double count out or a disqualification on Big Cass. Keeping him strong, you know, I think that's the only way they go with it. But if this match goes to the end, I'm going with Daniel Bryan. I don't think it will. I think that this thing will end in a DQ with Big Cass assaulting Daniel Bryan, leading to him getting the victory anyway. Yet again, another match that I give zero Fs about. The Raw Women's Championship match between Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. I used to love Alexa Bliss, but, the, you know, she didn't defend her championship forever, and it really just hurt her status in the company. Uh, I love her on the mic. I think that, you know, she is a good heel. But this feud with Nia Jax has been absolutely awful. I've never really been a fan of Nia Jax. I think she's really green in the ring. I'm just not a fan of her at all. And I don't know, man. I'm just not invested in this at all. This needs to be somebody else in this position. I just don't think this is good television. I don't think this is good women's wrestling, and I don't want to see this, so I I'm going to go with Nia Jax retaining. Look again, and we have another match that I do not give a crap about. Carmella, the champion, taking on Charlotte for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I don't know how Carmella is supposed to get this victory, but I think she will. I don't know how it will be done. Uh, interference, I'm sure, or disqualification finish. But again, man, I don't care about these women. I love Charlotte. I think Charlotte's fantastic in the ring. Uh, probably, she's definitely top two best in the WWE in the ring as a woman, you know? So I, I don't know, man. I just don't care about these feuds. The women's divisions on both brands right now are awful. The champions are a joke. I don't take Carmella as a believable threat, and I don't see how she's going to win over Charlotte. But I'm going to go with her retaining in some ridiculous win. Next, we finally have a match that I actually give a crap about. We got Jeff Hardy taking on Randy Orton for the United States Championship. Two of my favorite wrestlers of all time right here. This has the makings to be a great match. I would love to see Randy Orton turn heel in this matchup. My God, it's way long overdue. You know, I say it every single predictions video that he should turn heel. So this is the time right here, guys. You know, we saw a little bit of it. He RKO'd Jeff Hardy, but I think that was just saying, you know, I'm coming for you, bro. So I don't think that uh, it's going to happen, but I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, hold on to it and hope that it happens. But I think these guys can have a good match, and I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, not like the other matches on this card, but you know what? We're going to see what happens. I'm going to go with Jeff Hardy retaining. I could see Randy Orton taking the strap, but I'm going to just say Jeff for now. 
and see how it goes. Next, we have the Intercontinental Championship match between the champion Seth Rollins taking on The Miz. And I don't find The Miz believable enough to beat Seth Rollins. You know, Seth Rollins has been on fire. One of the most over guys in the company right now, just tearing it down or burning it down, I should say, on Monday Night Raw. I think that Seth Rollins will retain here. You know, he's been beating up on Finn Balor and everybody else lately. I got to go with Seth Rollins. He's on fire, literally. And, uh, yeah, I'm going with Seth Rollins in a pretty... I don't expect anything out of this match. I'm not fond of Miz in the ring. But hopefully they tell a good story and we get a freaking Seth Rollins retain. Next up, we have a matchup between Samoa Joe versus a Samoan named Joe, the big dog Roman Reigns. I am looking forward to this matchup. The Samoan Joseph promos that have been cut on this thing have been absolutely incredible. The promos that Samoa Joe has been cutting has literally been amazing. I have enjoyed every second of it. It has been good television. It has made me hype for this matchup. So I'm excited to see how they go. I would love to see Samoa Joe win this thing. It would do wonders for him. You know, it would just, it would really, really help his character to have Samoa Joe win here. I'm going to plead with it. I'm going with Samoa Joe to put Roman Reigns to sleep. He really needs this. You know, they're parting ways after this, so it really doesn't matter. Let Samoa Joe choke out Roman Reigns and go over to SmackDown Live. You know, Roman Reigns isn't going to be hurt by this. You know, he's about to fight Brock again anyways, even though he doesn't deserve it. Just screw it. Let Samoa Joe have this win. I'm going with Samoa Joe. And last but not least, we have the WWE Championship match between AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura round three. You know, the WrestleMania match fell flat on its face. I was not a fan of it. It was nothing more than a SmackDown live TV match. Their match of the Greatest Royal Rumble went a notch higher. You know, it ended in a no uh, contest because they both got counted out. And it was much more enjoyable, in my opinion, than the WrestleMania 34 match. I actually liked that one a lot better. So hopefully, this is where we finally see this feud end. We get to see AJ Styles and Nakamura actually give us everything they got. Lay it all on the line here and have their dream match. You know, they they haven't given it to it. They have not given us their all in this matchup quite yet. So I would love to see that. I want to see AJ Styles retain. I personally do not want to see Nakamura as WWE Champion. So just keep the strap on the best guy in the company, in the world, AJ Styles. And have a new guy come up. Samoa Joe, after beating the big dog, comes up, fights AJ Styles for the WWE strap at the next pay-per-view. That's what I would like to see and have Nakamura go somewhere else. So yeah, that's, that's my predictions. Thank you guys so much for watching my predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below your predictions for Backlash 2018. Go check out our t-shirt that is for sale. There's a link in the description, teespring.com slash MyDamnToys. You can pick up the first ever official My Damn Toys t-shirt. It is a great shirt. You know, it's nothing special. If you'd like to help out the channel, definitely go grab that. Go check out our Patreon page as well, patreon.com slash MyDamnToys. Check us out on Twitter and Instagram at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.